So, uh, Coach, uh, thoughts on uh, the outcomes? Obviously, it's nice to get wins, um, even more, probably a little bit more, especially even when they're home in front of our home crowd. Uh, but most importantly, I, I'm just, I was pleased to see the progress that we made collectively as a team, in particular on the defensive end, to pull out these two wins. When you guys are uh, getting that extra time to kind of focus on some things in practice, was the majority of it the defensive part? Uh, I mean, a great deal was because we just felt like before we had those 10 days off, we just didn't, or I didn't feel like we were um, executing as well as we have the capabilities of doing on the defensive end. So, you know, we really took advantage of these last 10 days um, where we had off with no games. We had a ton of film sessions on ourselves, which, you know, once the season get go gets going, we don't always get a lot of opportunities to watch ourselves. We're, we're focusing so much on opponents. Uh, however, again, we utilized our time. We spent a lot of time in the gym and really put a lot of emphasis on our defensive end, which I thought showed these last two games. Um, to get those two wins kind of back to your winning ways, um, how big, how kind of was it kind of a relief and a play? Just, but yeah, that's the team that, that I know. Well, I, I know there's so much more in us, and that's really what the message I was trying to get across to the girls. And, you know, I even showed them some clips from our team last year on when we do certain things, how effective things can be. And I think it was just a, a big eye opener, you know, not just of where we were as a team, but, you know, obviously we had three losses in a row. And I think it was just a time to really reflect on where we were as a team and, and really what needs to be done for us to progress. And I think we accomplished that. We certainly have a long ways to go still, but we at least made some progress over that time. Hey, the road this week, uh, East Bay, Thursday night. <clears throat> uh, what have you seen from that this season? Uh, East Bay, you know, we're very familiar with them. We, we know what to expect. They kind of have two different looks offensively, meaning uh, they may play two bigs at one time. They may play a big and four uh, guards at one time. And, you know, we've seen so many different styles. We, again, we're putting a lot of emphasis on what we need to do and what our defensive game plan is going to be going into the game. We just got out of practice now. We're just putting our defensive package together. We have one more practice, obviously, to prepare. And we, we just got to build off of the energy and the intensity that we had in particular in that Dominguez game on Saturday. Um, and then also, uh, you guys will stay on the road on Saturday for, for Monterey. What have, you, what have you seen on tape uh, with, with them? Season? I haven't watched anything on Monterey Bay, to be honest with you, uh, outside of, you know, maybe them playing our opponents. But we really do focus on one game at a time. We're, we're not a program that, you know, prepares for both games at the same time. So right now it's just solely uh, East Bay. And we will start focusing on Monterey come Friday morning. Uh, such a competitive uh, conference in the CC two way. You have a member, uh, you know, selected as the uh, you know uh, basketball player of the week. Uh, how special is that? Obviously, the wins and all that good stuff. But you know, to have a member uh, of your squad uh, recognized, uh, what does that say for this program? Well, obviously, it's great uh, for Issa individually, and and it's great for our program. And I, I just thought. You know, Issa really showed some maturity and just, you know, her experience and, and being a veteran um, along with Tyra Turner. I thought they both did really a tremendous job of just managing the game and leading the team into, uh, you know, these two wins this past weekend. But Issa played tremendous. And at one of the games, you know, she was one for seven at halftime. But at no time did she slack off on the defensive end and just really kept her mind right and kept shooting the ball. And then she got hot. Um, and, you know, she pretty much dominated the overtime game against Dominguez Hills and, and willed us to win. All right, anything else uh, you'd like to add, Coach? No, just, uh, again, just excited to, to continue on playing here this Thursday. And, you know, we're getting to about the halfway mark now of conference games, and every game is carries more and more stake, and we just got to continue improving. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.